This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Full Sail University. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. This is the show where you can ask me, John Rettinger, whatever question you have from the ever-expanding galaxy of technology. Don't know what phone to get, don't know what operating system's coming out next. It doesn't matter. Anything you want to know, this is the show where you can ask it. Up this week, we're going to talk some Galaxy Note 3. We're going to talk about Samsung's Galaxy S4 announcement. We're going to talk the next generation of OS 10 and how it might or might not be similar to Windows 8 and a lot of tech in between. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's get asking. First one comes from Kevin Kim 1111 who asks, Hey John, what do you expect to see in the next Galaxy Note 3? We're hearing rumors of screen sizes just getting much bigger. Even hearing rumors of a 6.3 inch screen size. We saw Samsung's gamepad adapter at the Galaxy S4 event and it went from 5 inches to 6.3 inches. I do think we're going to see the octa-core processor make another appearance for international variants. And I think we'll see a more commonplace quad-core Snapdragon chip for US. And why is that? Well, it plays a little nicer with LTE networks that are going on here in the United States. Certainly you can import the octa-core version if you like. And of course, the new Samsung software suite we saw unveiled with the Galaxy S4, all kinds of cool new features. But yes, I'm very excited about the Galaxy Note 3. This one comes from Fernando Isaiah Ryder, who says, we've seen tablet PC hybrids from many companies. Do you think we'll start seeing something similar from Apple? Maybe the iPad Pro or a Mac Pad? Kinda love those names, by the way. Certainly you're referencing Windows 8. Uh, Windows 8 was really the first operating system designed for Microsoft to be optimized with touch. In fact, you get the best experience with Windows 8 when you are using your finger. So certainly there's flagship products that are tablet-based like the Surface, but all manufacturers have really done some crazy things. With Windows 8, you got Lenovo's Yoga Pad that bends backwards, all kinds of crazy desktops that turn to tablets. Whether you like Windows or not, it's nice to see sort of that model of what a desktop used to look like really being pushed and people have choice. They can find the desktop that works best for them. If they want a traditional, you know, big screen and a mouse and keyboard next to it, you have those options. If you want something that'll sort of suit your lifestyle, you can pick up and take with you. There are those options as well. Do I think we're gonna see something similar from Apple? Yes and no. I think we are definitely going to see a touchscreen OS come and probably come relatively soon. Uh, we're starting to see the melding of iOS and OS 10. That's probably going to become even meldier with the next version of Apple's operating system. Of course, the desktop operating system being OS 10. I think we'll see mobile apps that start to work on the desktop. That'll probably be the first time that we see touch implemented into screens. I think it's gonna be a full on tablet. No, I don't think it's gonna be a straight up tablet. I think we'll see maybe weird convertibles uh, or perhaps even a touchscreen iMac might be the first touchy screen that we see from OS 10. And it might be coming sooner than we think. What do you guys think? Would you want a touchscreen Mac? Or are you happy with just Windows 8 or you really don't care at all? Love to hear your thoughts. Leave them in the comments down below. Steve asks, hi John. Hi Steve. What are your thoughts on Samsung's presentation of the Galaxy S4? Was that an effective method of presenting a product or was it just an embarrassment on Samsung's side? Well, that's a good question. So a few weeks ago, I we went to New York for the Samsung Galaxy S4 unveiling. It was the biggest venue I've ever seen a product unveiled at. It was hosted at Radio City Music Hall, where the famous Rockettes performed. It was just a gigantic venue. And being in the center of theater in the US, they did it in a very theatrical way. They had sets that changed and moved. They had a little bit of a cheesy host that made some jokes, but really Samsung got a lot of flack for being a little bit misogynistic, really displaying women in a 1950s-esque fashion. They had women that were talking about trying to find a way to marry a doctor or use your phone while you're getting your nails done. And all candor, I didn't really notice it when the keynote was going on. Uh, but certainly in retrospect, when I went back and watched the video, I could really see where people were coming from. I did, however, notice that it was super cheesy. Like really, really, really ridiculously cheesy. And I think Samsung in a lot of ways invited that. They used some cool effects, but if you're going to put on theater, you should be prepared to be critiqued as if you are a theater. And Samsung caught a ton of flack from that event. They unveiled an awesome product, but for some that was overshadowed by the crazy keynotes that they gave and some of the crazy things they had on stage. So let me step aside from the questions for a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Full Sail University. You know the mobile app industry is on fire right now. If you're watching this video, you're obviously in technology, you definitely know. Full Sail University's online mobile development bachelor's degree program teach you the skills that you need to take advantage of these emerging opportunities. This degree, you'll learn both programming and business side of mobile development so that you can concept, develop, and deploy a market application from start to finish. It's pretty cool. 
You'll explore advanced programming languages, visual framework, usability principles, and app development for both iOS and Android. So between the App Store and Google Play Store, over 50 billion apps have been downloaded with really no sign of slowing down. Heck, I'm personally fueling that. If you're ready to master technology and software to compete in this rapidly growing industry, visit fullsale.edu slash technobuffalo to learn more about this online degree program. So thank you guys for watching another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give this video a big fatty, this guy. We would most definitely appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com. I'm John Rettinger. I'll see you in the next video.